Good day and thank you for joining us. So today what we'll be looking at is triangle geometry. So first thing we're going to look at here is our different types of triangles that we have, right? So we can see we have six different kinds here. Sometimes they can both fuse together, but we'll just look at them separately. So what's going to happen is we're going to look at this first triangle, right? So we can identify this as a triangle where we can see all the angles are acute size triangles okay so this is called an acute angle triangle cool acute angle triangle right and you can see here now in the next triangle that we have a right angle so this is as we do know already is a right angle triangle right And then moving on, we can see that we have another triangle here now, which has an obtuse angle, right? And we'd call these obtuse angle triangles, cool. So those are three different types of there. The next three types we have here, if you can see this triangle, they give us the sizes of three different sides, right? So they give us two centimeters here, three centimeters there, and four centimeters here. As you can see, that means that all three sides of this triangle are different sizes. And we call a triangle that has three different lengths of each side a scalene triangle, okay? So this is a scalene triangle. Then if we're moving on here to this triangle of here, we can see that they tell us that this side is equal to this side of here by giving these two lines next to each other, right? So what that means is that these two sides are equal. When we're dealing with a triangle that has two equal sides, this is when we are looking at what we call a isosceles triangle. Cool. And then here we can see they tell us that all three sides are equal. And when we deal with triangles where all three sides are equal, we call this an equilateral triangle. Cool. So that are the, those are the different types of triangles. So what we're going to look at now is the properties of these triangles, okay? So looking at the properties of the triangles, we know that, so that here in triangle ABC, we know that all three sides, I mean, sorry, not all three sides, all three angles. So angle A, angle B, and angle C, right? So that's this angle A, angle B, and angle C. All three of these angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So that's the first and most important property of all triangles, okay? Where all three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. We use that as a base for doing most of our calculations when dealing with triangles, okay? Looking at the next example over here, we can see we have triangle ABC with the line BD protruding out of the triangle, okay? And they give us this angle, which is angle one over here, okay? So what we're gonna do is talk about this rule now, which says that the exterior angle of the triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles, okay? So what I'm saying here is this angle over here is equal to this angle plus this angle. So how we'd write that is exterior angle of triangle which is this one over here is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles cool these are opposite interior angles note they are opposite angles okay so they're opposite from this side of the triangle over here right so they are opposite and so if we add these two angles together, we can get this exterior angle. So that is two of the properties of a triangle. Now, moving on to this one, we can see here we have our triangle with the two equal sides, right? And what type of triangle is that? That's an isosceles triangle. So what we know about isosceles triangles is as well as these two sides are the same, in isosceles triangle, our base angles are the same as well. So our base angles are equal to each other, okay? And our base angles we can recognize as looking at the lines that are equal and going to the line that they both meet at, okay? So they both meet at this bottom line over here, which we would call the base of our triangle then, making these two our base angles and our base angles are equal, cool? So that is 
base angles of isosceles triangle are equal. Cool. So moving on. So we can see uh, at the top, we have again now this triangle with three equal sides. And we know this as the equilateral triangle, okay? So as well as the three sides are the same in equilateral triangle, all three angles are also equal to the same size, okay? So we can say angles of equilateral triangle are equal, cool? Are all equal. Let me just put in all the cool. Sorry for my terrible spelling. Um, so angles of equilateral triangle are all equal. So now that we've gone over the properties of our triangles, okay, we can move on to some examples given to us where we need to work out. So note now when we're dealing with triangle geometry, when we are working out, once again, just like we do the straight line geometry. We're going to give a statement and we are going to give a reason, okay? So, looking at this over here, we have x, 110 degrees and 30 degrees. So, the first property that we learned about a triangle is that all angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. So, what we're going to say is exactly that. So, we're going to have x plus 110 degrees plus 30 degrees is equal to? 180 degrees so then what we're going to do is is once we've got our statement down we can give our reason so we say angles of triangle or sum of angles of triangle my bad so that's going to slip in before the angles sum of triangles sum of angles of a triangle equal 180 degrees cool so that's our first property of a triangle once we've done that we can do our calculation so we get x by itself we do 180 degrees minus 110 degrees minus 30 degrees so now we find our final answer so 180 degrees minus 110 degrees that's going to give me 70 degrees minus 30 degrees so my final answer is x is equal to 40 degrees and just like that we've worked out our final angle over there so we can just put that in there as 40 degrees cool Okay, so moving on to our next one over here, we can see we've got x, 65 degrees, and then we have an exterior angle over here, which is 128 degrees. So what do we know about the exterior angle? We know that there's a rule that applies to this exterior angle saying that it is equal to the sum of the opposite two interior angles. So basically what we have to end up doing is writing out the exterior the statement exactly how we say it okay so exactly how we say it is that the exterior angle so we write down the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles so the sum of meaning addition so i'll say the sum of the opposite interior angles so that's 65 plus x so you see i've written it how i said it okay the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite two interior angles then once I do that, I'll write out my reason, which is exactly what I just said. So that is exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles. I'm just going to do the reasons in color for you guys so it stands out a bit more. So once I've done that, I can now work out getting x by itself. So I'll have 128 degrees minus 65 degrees. And once I've worked that out, I'll get a final answer of 63 degrees. Cool. So you can see our properties are very important in helping us figure out how to work out different scenarios with triangles. Cool. Moving on over here. So we can see that we're given a triangle, HIJ, which has two equal sides, meaning that this is going to be an isosceles triangle, right? So we get given two base angles over here, 40 degrees and x. And what do we know about isosceles triangle? 
that our base angles are also equal, okay? So remember the base is where the two equal lines, the same line that the two equal lines touch, okay? And they both touch this bottom line, which is going to be our base, meaning these are our base angles, which we know are equal. So we can just write x is equal to 40 degrees. And our reason is going to be base angles of isosceles triangle are equal. Cool. So that is that one done now. So what we're going to do is move on to the next one. Okay. So the next one is triangle KLM. So here we can see they've given us that every single side is equal to one another, right? So that means, so we know that this angle of here is x, right? Which means that since x is equal to k, right? So we know that all these angles are equal. So that means that this angle must also equal x. And this angle will equal x as well, okay? So remember, equilateral triangle, all sides are the equal. And all angles are equal as well. So if they've given us a one angle is equal x, all of them have to equal x, right? So now... What do we know? The first property of a triangle is that angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So let's write that up. We have x plus x plus x is equal to 180 degrees, right? And then our reason is going to be angles of triangle equal 180 degrees, okay? Sum of angle of triangles. So once we do that, we're going to say x plus x plus x gives me 3x equal to 180 degrees. And then we're going to get x by itself by dividing by 3. So once we do that, 3 scans each other out, so we're left with x. 180 divided by 3 is going to give me 60 degrees. Okay? Cool. So that's that one done over there. Now we'll move on to this next example over here. We can see that we're given this triangle, right? And it looks like it's flipped upside down almost because we can see also that we have an exterior angle over here of 137 degrees, right? So that's this exterior angle over here, right? And what we can also see is that we have these two angles on the inside of our triangle, right? And if you look closely, you can see that it is also opposite from our exterior angle. Okay. And what does that mean? We can use our exterior triangle rule, right? And what does it say? That the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So what we're going to do is we're going to write it as we say it, as usual. So we will say exterior angle, 137 degrees is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles, which is x plus 90 degrees. Then we write out our reason once again. Exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. Cool. So once we do that, we will calculate for x. So we have x equal to 137 degrees minus 90 degrees. And our final answer that we get is going to be 47 degrees. So x equal to 47 degrees in this case. So you can see they could try and confuse us by flipping it upside down because we're not used to seeing it in that way. If I can go back, I don't know which slide it's on really. Um, here it is. We can see that it's flipped right side up, so it's easier to identify when we are dealing with. Sorry, it's easier to identify when we're dealing with the exterior angle rule in this case, right? Because we can see the exterior angles of here, and we have opposite interior angles. But in this case, the the triangle is flipped upside down, so it's almost harder to recognize it. But if you can see here, uh, we identified first that this is the exterior angle. And then we looked at the other angles that were given to us and we saw it's on the opposite side. So once again there, we identified that rule. So now moving on to our final example over here. So 
looking at the information they give us, we're given that this is 90 degrees over here. We are given that these two sides here are equal. And what do we know about the two equal sides? That we, the same line, when they, the same line that they both meet is the base of the triangle, okay? So they both meet this line over here, right? Therefore, this line is the base of our triangle. And then we're also given this exterior angle, which is x. Okay? So now what we have to try and do is find out how to get the rest of the information here to get eventually the size of x. So using the 90 degrees of here, which we already know. So we say 90 degrees. And then we also know that r and t are equal to each other, right? So what's left over is, so having this 90 degrees, we also have to find out what the size of these two base angles are. We know they are equal. So let's just call r y so long and we call t y as well. So we'll say that 90 degrees plus 2 y is going to be equal to 180 degrees. Reason why we got the 2 y is because we said that that y plus y, so we know that that's going to be 2y, okay? So the two bases are y each, so if we add them together, we get 2y. And then what's going to happen is we're going to get, firstly, our reason, sorry. So we're going to say, sum of angles of triangle equal 180 degrees. Cool. Once we do that, we can work out now, 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. So, 2y is equal to degrees, therefore y, because we divide by 2, right? So 2 is going to shove out, so we left with y. 90 divided by 2 is going to give me 45 degrees. So we can write that in quickly. So this is 45 degrees over here and 45 degrees over here. So now we can see plainly that we have our exterior angle over here and our opposite interior angles, right? Obviously this one's 90 degrees. So once we do that, we can work it out. So our exterior angle, x, is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So that's 45 plus 90 degrees. Again, we do our reason. Exterior angle of triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. Cool. And then what we can do is just work it out now. So it's going to be 45 degrees plus 90 degrees gives me 135 degrees as our external angle size. And so that was our final example. I really hope that this video has helped you to understand the different types of triangles, the properties of these triangles and how to do calculations when it comes to these triangles. Thank you very much for joining us.